Even more allegations against a popular band teacher, more students and teachers coming forward with new claims of sexual misconduct against Heath Miller. News Channel 5's Marcia Gonzalez is live tonight with what the H.L. Watkins Middle School teacher is accused of doing on school grounds. Marcy. Jim, according to this 23-page report, Miller told investigators that he, quote, frequently masturbated in the school uniform room. The report also accuses him of, him of asking his students that he had relationships with, supposedly, to tell investigators that nothing happened. But that is just the beginning of what is now a long list of accusations. One, two. One, two, three, four. Leading the band at H.L. Watkins Middle School in Palm Beach Gardens. I need you to have fun today, okay? Heath Miller earned the adoration and respect of his students. I mean, as far as I know, my son said the teacher, everyone loves the teacher and everything. Now he's accused once again of taking his close relationship with students too far. According to the Palm Beach County School District, Miller now faces 12 new charges involving sexual misconduct inside the school's band room. Charges, we're told, involve four of Miller's students. According to the probable cause affidavit, some claim they consented to having sex with Miller. But one student accuses Miller of taking her from another class, then forcing her to have sex in a storage room. And two teachers here at the school have also come forward with allegations. Among the recent charges, one for sexual assault, five for lewd and lascivious behavior on a person 12 to 16 years old, two for evidence destruction, three for obstructing justice, and one for trespassing. Accusations coming in the wake of those that put him in jail last month, including that Miller had on one or more occasions engaged in sexual intercourse with one girl, and that Mr. Miller admitted having open mouth kissing with another of the girls. Before his incarceration, Miller made headlines for fatally shooting an intruder in his Wellington home, telling News Channel 5 of one of the lessons he hoped it would teach his students. And that you have to be doing the right thing at all times because even when you are sometimes, trouble can find you. A lesson more clear than ever as Miller prepares to stand before a judge once again. This statement just in from school district spokesperson Nat Harrington. We are thankful that this additional information has been provided leading to these charges. We take extremely seriously our responsibility to protect our students, and we will continue to pursue any information about this or any other employee alleged to have violated their trust and the law. And at his last court appearance, Miller's former attorney, Barry Maxwell, said the allegations were false, and he accused the girls of lying. Miller is scheduled to make his first appearance appearance on these new charges tomorrow morning. Live in the newsroom, Marcy Gonzalez, WPTV News Channel 5.